Hey girls and guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about the surgery community. Yes, bitch, the surgery community. It's it's like it's like the devil and angels, like the angel right here and the devil right here. That's what the surgery community is about. Okay, so if you don't know what the surgery community is and you're looking into plastic surgery and you're on YouTube 30 hours a day like I was before plastic surgery. Well, I didn't have plastic surgery, but that's a story that I already put in another video, so go look at that. But anyway, um, but I can talk about it because I've been through the experience. You know what? We're not going to get into it. We're not going to get into it. Go watch that video. Like I said, go watch that video. The surgery community. <laughs> um, it's this is what the surgery community is so basically it's a community um of women and men who are getting plastic surgery um there's facebook groups there's um surgery pages on instagram if you look up some if you usually look up your doctor's name or the person that you're interested in you usually see girls names like pop up like if you go into dr chang at spectrum aesthetics you can type in chang and then i bet you like chang doll or chang whatever date or something is going to pop up because um girls like name themselves down instagram or like my name has an xx in it which stands for surgery so a lot of girls have sx because that stands for surgery um for Instagram, my recommendations for that is you have to make a surgery page, like a specific surgery, a specific Instagram for a surgery page because a lot of girls won't add you on their personal pages because, won't add you from a personal page because they don't know who you are and they don't feel like you're getting surgery or you're just trying to be a creep or stuff like that because I don't add personal pages either. I only add surgery pages or I, I have one girl that's a personal page but I know for a fact she got surgery with Dr. Chang so that's why I added her and I added her myself. Um, but yeah, so you have to make a surgery Instagram. Um, for surgery Instagrams, you just basically get support. You can also see, you know, pictures and updates of girls that went to the same doctor as you or girls that's going to the same surgery center as you. Like, that's also helpful. Like, just because they're not going to the same doctor, if they're going to the same surgery center, that's also very helpful. Um, for Instagram, you know, you can just do all types of stuff. Like, just meet girls that's going to the same doctor, meet girls that's just getting surgery, period, and stuff like that. So that's basically instagram in a nutshell you just have to make a surgery page and like my surgery page is private um because i have like like nude pictures on there but like not nude like pornographic nude but like nude like so people can see my body like a lot of girls have like nude pictures on there so like you can see your before results and stuff like that so a lot of girls pages are private um a lot of girls like to screen like who the people are that they're adding and stuff like that because it's like private stuff like it's creep creeps and weirdos on there like trying to look at women and, like we're just all trying to get support because we're all trying to get surgery and trying to make ourselves look better so yeah so yeah that's the surgery instagram surgery instagram it's not that bad with like negativity as much as like facebook groups um sometimes you'll get that one or two negative nancy on a post or something and you're just like bitch like nobody asks your fucking opinion but it's really not that bad let's get into the facebook groups okay i feel like the facebook groups are more they're not more popping or more popular it's just with facebook groups you can any not anybody can join because you have to basically anybody can join and like with the instagram obviously you have to follow these people these people have to follow you you know this is not not more personal but it is kind of more personal because like on my surgery um instagram let me tell you how many followers i normally have like a hundred and something followers so it's like more intimate but like i only have 113 followers and i follow 183 because i also follow like celebrities on here too like that's just me <laughs> um but yeah i only have 113 followers so obviously it's more intimate um other than facebook so the facebook surgery groups basically well instagram is not a surgery group it's a surgery community i should say but facebook they have surgery groups like they have all types of groups on facebook like i'm in makeup groups i'm in nail groups i'm in all types of groups um black women empowerment groups all types of groups so facebook basically has groups for surgery so there's surgery groups like 305 Miami 305 there's a spectrum aesthetics group there's a seductions um cosmetic surgery group there's a um 
what is it there's dr surgery group. there's probably a surgery group for every doctor that you can think of like girls are just in these groups like sometimes it's hard to find so sometimes you gotta like maneuver and get into these groups or some groups you gotta be invited to but like the main big groups you don't usually have to be invited to you just put in a request and usually get um accepted so for the Facebook surgery groups, it's a little different because you get to use obviously your personal self. Um, you can use your regular Facebook when you join these groups. And you're just basically, it's just like a feed. Obviously, if you follow any groups on Facebook, it's just the same exact thing. It's girls po posting their results. It's girls posting their before pictures, um, asking people like, you see my foundation. What doctor do you think would be great for me? Um... It's all they ask some questions in there. They're sharing their experiences in there. It could be very positive and it could be very helpful. But at the same time, like some girls are just annoying and they'll try to tear people down about their results. Like a lot of girls are not realistic with results and they try to tell other girls how they should feel about their bodies. And then some girls don't are not happy with their results and they bash doctors. Or I don't really want to say bash them. They just state their experience and they state how they feel about themselves and not everybody is going to be happy with their results and that's something that you guys should know it's like everybody's not going to be happy with their results from the doctor that you went to there's always going to be a girl out there that didn't like her results it's always going to be a girl out there that had a bad experience like just so you know like no doctor is perfect okay that's just like it's just life like no doctor is perfect um there's always going to be a girl out there that doesn't like her that doesn't like her results from a certain doctor that wanted more or maybe even wanted a little less who knows um so that's a thing that you guys should definitely look out for um because i know firsthand experience like i was supposed to go to dr day Zeus. they tore her ass up like i'm telling you like I now I'm starting to see positive stuff um about her like I follow a good amount of dolls that had went to her and but there is like one two three I mean obviously she sees th that's the thing that's another thing to take into consideration these doc just because these girls in these surgery groups in these surgery instagrams those are not the only girls out there getting surgery those are just the girls that's on social media talking about it and being active with the community there's women out there that they don't know anything about the community and they got surgery or they do know about the community and they still don't care to post their results or care to talk about their bodies in these groups so when you see um there's two girls that don't like their results from a certain doctor there's 30 thousand other ones that's out there that do like their results and I'm not saying like obviously everybody has their own experience but I'm just telling y'all to take these groups with a grain of salt because like I'm saying there's girls in these groups that have had surgery that like their results and there's girls in these groups that have surgery that don't like their results and then there's girls in these groups and these Instagrams that are not they're not there's girls that's not in these groups and these Instagrams and they're just out in the world and they don't even share their results they don't share their experiences so you don't know you think you might be only hearing negative things but that might just only be negative from the girls that are on Instagram or the girls that are on Facebook so like like I was saying like with um Dr. De Jesus she was getting like a lot of negative reviews like I've seen like at least five dolls that weren't happy and that's five dolls you know that's that's a decent number but think about it she can see five patients in two days maybe even one day if they getting crazy like that but she can see five patients in two days Think about the whole other hundreds of girls she has worked on that we don't know if they liked their results. We don't know if they didn't like their results. So that's why I say, you know, also your results are on your body type. I'm not trying to get too deep into this because this is about a surgery community um, video. But also your results also have something to do with your body type, your body structure, and also the doctor. But sometimes the doctor can only do so damn much. Okay, girl. But... <laughs> yeah I don't want this video to be too long uh, I just want you guys to know that there's a community out there and if you would like to join it's there um and they're you know they're helpful people out there but there's also women that are trying to tear you down in these groups and you just gotta like shrug it off you don't they don't know you you don't know them like i feel like if you're gonna join these groups don't be a negative person and if you don't like somebody's results and you don't like what somebody got done or you don't like something don't comment like nobody 
nobody cares for your opinion especially if it's negative like people want to feel good about themselves especially after you get surgery and your emotions is just up and down and you don't know like some girls go through depression and some girls go through that what did i do to myself stage and and here you come negative nancy don't be that person like be a good person okay in these groups be helpful if you join these groups you know don't be a, a perv in the instagram um stuff don't be a perv in the facebook don't take people's pictures from their facebooks or from their damn instagrams and post them someplace else because there's like people are putting their bodies out there don't body shame people as well i'm just telling you guys that there's a community out there if you guys need some support um you know just be a nice person and it will all work out for you so if you guys have any questions or concerns let me know leave them down below hit me up on instagram um dm me and i will answer any questions you guys have bye y'all